we are exiting the plane. Oh my goodness. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Shay Shay. Goodbye, Lakers. <laughs> Pardon? Lakers. Bye -bye. Oh, Lakers, Lakers. Bye-bye. Yeah, you bye -bye. love Lakers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Shay Shay. Oh, hi, China. Yeah. South Africa. It's good? Yes, yeah, good experience. Thank you. You brought me here. Yeah, so, what was your last stop? Uh, my last stop is uh, JKIA in Nairobi. Nairobi. Uh, I've been to Nairobi several times. Uh, you I've been to Masai Mara. Masai Mara? Yeah. Wild beast migration? Yeah. You saw wild beast migration? Uh, wild well, beast? The lion? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. The lion and the uh, rhino. <laughs> awesome. Welcome back. Go yes. to Mombasa. Uh, yeah, I want to do that. Go to Mombasa now. It's been a far away from the airport. Okay. Masai Mara. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy you've been to Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. When are you coming to Kenya? I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> not this time. Maybe okay. this month I will find a city. Okay. Okay. Maybe in or less. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> uh, but don't worry. Okay. Welcome to Kenya. Calling okay. here Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome home, Kenya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. We wish you a good journey. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Hello. Oh, <laughs> I've been left behind. So I don't know. We're heading this way. Oh my goodness, this luggage. Luggage. It's a bit heavy. You can see more views of the airport. This is the airport. Uh, oh shit. I've been left behind. I'm trying to f catch up with the rest. Oh my goodness. Here it says, Welcome to Guangzhou. Welcome to Guangzhou. Welcome to Guangzhou. So where should I head up? Let me see. We have five hours layover. This is our new home. For the next five hours, this will be our new home. We want to look for a place to chill. <laughs> I don't know if Sam has eaten. Let's see. Sam, did you eat? What? Did you eat? Yeah, I ate. Uh, I ate vegetarian meal. Oh, <laughs> it was provided, right? Yeah, they provided. Me. And ah. the lady came and asked me, are you a vegetarian? Oh, because you had indicated? Yeah, the secretary helped me. Oh, okay. Indicate. Ah, that's nice. Uh, I don't know about the one to Kenya because... Uh, ah, also uh, that one. I just remembered that I should have told... Uh, you see the one who booked the seat for us? Yeah. She's the one who is supposed to... I mean, you can tell her to change anything you want. Okay. So maybe my, my mind was not... Uh, about the meal at that time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because I wanted to sit. Yeah. Uh, but I think in between the aircraft, I can tell them. Yeah, yeah, we can tell them. Because they definitely should have a vegetarian yeah, sure. meal. Yeah. But, but actually, this luggage is not stretched anymore. Yeah. That's so I can carry. But be careful. International flights are different. This is domestic. Oh. This is taken as domestic because. Yeah. Okay. If even the, the people, they didn't stamp you. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is not the exit area. So, this is the place they will stamp my passport yeah, that I've yes, exited. Yeah, yeah. Stamp exit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you have, I think, even the checking here is done. Yeah. You get all your shoes and okay. everything. Oh, okay. make sure you're not carrying. Oh, sure. All right. Who is it? Are you? Oh. Are you? Oh. Can, can one some bite you? <laughs> some wine. Actually, I, I forgot to buy Bolgan. I feel uh, fresh. That, that, that thing, Did you yeah, experience that? I, I experienced that oh, and immediately I remembered I have something. That I, I remember that thing affected me. I will never forget that <laughs> thing. I will never forget. What? It was the welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have more Bolgan <laughs> for you? Yeah, I have the PK. We can buy more here. We can okay. buy more here. Oh, yeah, I, I will buy. Did you buy at the airport? No, uh, this one I bought uh, because I, I knew. Yeah. You are, I bought this. I bought like two months ago. Uh -huh. A bunch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just carried one. Oh. <laughs> because I knew I don't think I'm going to get 
Almost yeah. two hours I've not concentrated. I don't know, I normally forget ah. because oh, the yeah. moment we just uh, started uh, the flight. Yeah. Oh man, I, I had uh, my brain was like arguing with my ears. The pressure was getting worse. Yeah. I experienced that thing. Ah. Even everybody knew it was my first time. Yeah. It yeah. was the biggest thing. Eight, eight. When it's coming down, uh -huh. I feel like something is. <laughs> what? For two hours I couldn't even talk to the little bit with it. You feel like you're very fast. You can wait somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We have five hours. Uh, yeah, five hours of opportunity to explore this place. Actually, <laughs> The other place, I, 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 I don't know how time got finished. I no. even didn't finish documenting that. We got there uh, around noon. Yeah. Noon at uh, 11.30. Yeah. And uh, they opened the gate to the boarding area around yeah. two. Yeah. Uh, it was like one hour, yeah. which is good. Yeah. We got there in time. Yeah. Oh, this bag is heavy. Oh, my goodness. Wearing too much clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> yeah, well, some, sometimes because this uh, winter, this journey is at night. Yeah, yeah, but the night gets a bit cold. So and know. I'm very sure that as to the 20 seconds it's going to go. Yeah. It's around 3 minutes. Yeah. 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 For me, it's something very long. We didn't have air turbulence, that's much turbulence. Yeah, just a little bit when you are taking off and when you are like, yeah, it's been smooth. Yeah, it's to be the Yeah. So, so it would be, uh, has been like three years since I'm born and I've been. Yeah. That's good at this time. Oh. Uh, you know, I, I felt really bad uh, when those old, <laughs> old uh, folks were coming off and then I have to access the area where I used to sit. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that because for me I just wanted to sit at the, at the window. No, no, yeah. I just wanted because they are, they are already occupied there. Oh. I just want to sit at the oh, okay. area closer to the aisle. Yeah, yeah. But because I, usually I don't like to disturb that. Once somebody has seated there, yeah. I just let it go. You know? yeah. yeah. Like in this night flight, mm -hmm. If the same thing happens, I can just let anybody use the window, just maintain that seat because I know what I want it to see. And it, it's at night, yeah, yeah. I just fall asleep and yeah. read my things. Yeah. I shouldn't like to disturb all of you. Yeah. But for me, it's all about documenting. This this moment never comes twice. Yeah. So I must, uh, yeah, <laughs> I must maximize the opportunity. By you. Again, walk. We have been sitting all the way. <laughs> <laughs> that thing you pay 10 yuan. Eh? That thing you pay 10 yuan. No, the other one. Oh, we have a small car. Is this not walking? <laughs> we are riding. <laughs> Wind assisted. <laughs> Welcome to Guangzhou. For those who are joining us now, this is an auto in China. Right now we are in Guangzhou, the city of hope, the city of diversity, the gateway to the world, the city of manufacturers, the city of businessmen, the city of producers. In Guangzhou, life comes to reality. Any idea can thrive here. As long as you are disciplined, patient, and ready to put in the work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city of opportunity, the city of diversity. This is Guangzhou, and this is Bayun International Airport. And we're going to the international transfers. International transfers. So we go check in. Oh, and uh, wait, I think uh, we start here, 
have to start somewhere here. Actually, it's not transfer, it's we have need to check in. Uh, yeah. 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 Kenya Airways, oh we have Kenya Airways, KQ. KQ. What? <laughs> That's nice. Everyone is represented. Is it a direct flight? So I doubt it. I doubt it. We've seen KQ Kenya Airways all the way from Kenya. We're not exiting. Are we? We can exit general because we have we have the visa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can exit. But let can ask. Oh my goodness. Uh, three zero one. Uh, three zero one. Yeah. Okay. This is not familiar at all. <laughs> it should be a new terminus. Terminal. Okay, okay. Ask them. See the first class. <laughs> Business class. <laughs> Not civilians. I think uh, we figure out we go past that and uh, we find the reception. There is a reason for flying business. Yeah. It's not that uh, they want just the better treatment, but yeah. if you have a business you are conducting, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they go, yeah. you get there, they give you free Wi Fi, mm -hmm. you can make free calls, mm -hmm. because even then they communicate to the ground. Yeah. So they can give you that line and then oh. communicate the people on the ground. So oh, you can still continue with business? With business. Oh. In, on the air. Yeah. Especially if you have a CEO of some company, big company. Mm -hmm. So you cannot afford to be off like for 15 hours. <laughs> yeah, that's the time. Time is money. Yeah, I need to reply to emails and yeah. all that. Yeah. So that's the reason. Why. Yeah, yeah, this is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a healthy option, but. Military edition. <laughs> Actually, I prefer that one more than this. I'm using this because I, the package I have is very, very heavy. 13 kgs. This one, 13 kgs. So here we are. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So many cameras. China Customs. The China customs are over here. I know the customs in Kenya, they want to grab everything we got. <laughs> but we shall see when we get there. The customs, Kenya Revenue Authority, right now the situation is out of hand. Departures home. Let's see. Flight cancellation channel. Okay. Because there's another security check here, I think we have to go, to go. I think we have to check us here once again, like in the other airport. Are we boarding right now? <laughs> Let's confirm. Let's confirm. Time is confirming everything. Absolutely. Hmm. That's even the screens are people. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Did you see a dreamliner? 
Yeah, the Dreamliner is a big one. Big machine, big engine. I guess that's the fight we use. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one is uh, very powerful. I think it's 787. Yeah, 787? Yeah, that's a Dreamliner. Dreamliner, Boeing. But it's having a, a stiff competition for Airbus A350. Yeah. And also the Chinese have started manufacturing their own. Called the Konak. Komak. The Komak. Yeah. <laughs> what? I go, back. I go back. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. She. She. Oh. Okay. 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 We have a bit of. Come sir. This way. This way. Okay. Mm, no. Oh, oh no no no. Ninja. Oh shit. Oh, close. Close. Uh, Jago. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. And today I'm traveling back to my country. I'm traveling back to Kenya after some few months stay in China. I'm feeling very excited, very exhausted, and I'm here to enjoy the journey. So I want to get to the light so that we talk on this camera a bit. Uh, some awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me chill here because I am on a layover and I can't just waste this time, so let me create some content for you guys to enjoy. But this thing is not, this thing is not uh, very strong. All right, so I was stopped at the customs. I was just recording the video as I do my thing. And uh, as I was waiting uh, to enter the bus, crossed and I could not access so the guy at the customs told me that uh, it is illegal to record a video around the customs, around the immigration place and uh, around, uh, what did he say, the customs and immigration, yeah, those two places. So he asked me to delete the footage which was actually more than 30 minutes also i <laughs> i didn't delete it i just deleted a photo so uh, the goodness i don't understand chinese that much so uh, i had to uh, pretend that i'm deleting and i deleted the photo so he said it's okay so he cleared me to go so having gone through the customs i actually wanted to talk about something, uh, something that's happening in my country, Kenya, and the customs, uh, I know the rules have changed or the rules were in existence, but they, they were never put into action. Let me look for, for this document so that I can read it through. My layover is about five hours, and right now it's about uh, six uh, 45. So let's have a conversation a bit uh, in the next like 10 minutes or 20. We we'll see what's happening in my country. Uh, so the news that has been happening in my country uh, right now concerning the customs and the Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, it's a bit harsh and I want to go through some of the things that uh, they were talking to implement. So I got this document. Uh, this document is by the Kenya Revenue Authority Customs Handbook. Customs Handbook. Let me give you a scenario. Most of you guys, or most of the parts of the world, 
the goods that you use over there mostly are made in China because China has a lot of manufacturers. Uh, so normally if you are in business and you are importing anything, you import through the port or through the ship, as a business person you have to pay for the taxes. So that, uh, you know, a good living another country to go into another country, you have to have that tax or uh, some cases the value added tax, the item, the end user when he buys it, he has taxed, uh, he has been taxed by the government. So the person importing has been taxed and when you buy it, also there's the value added tax. So many people import things from China to wherever places uh, they are. Kenya being part of them, we normally import lots and lots of goods, actually. So the Kenya Revenue Authority in Kenya this year, they had a very big target, but they, were, they did not meet the target. So having not met the target, so it meant that the president summoned them. So the president is pushing for more tax, more tax, more tax, and actually, before that, the president was in China one month ago. He came to borrow a loan. I don't know. Was it a loan of 20 billion or something? And I wondered if we can collect a lot of tax from KRA, summing up to a trillion plus, why should you borrow? Anyway, those who are good in economics can explain that. So, people have this tendency of uh, believing that if you go somewhere, you have to buy something and take back to your country if you uh, have uh, enough money of if you need to use it. So, it's good to carry something just to remember the country you are from or just to reminisce on the moment, just buy something. Uh, and as you know, like, for example, the China Southern Airlines, the flight uh, I'm traveling with, uh, the plane I'm traveling with, they normally have a limitation of when it comes to carrying of luggage. So they give you a chance to carry two luggages, and those two luggages must be 23 kilograms, 23 kilograms. So that's a total of 46 kilograms. And uh, the one on the bag, uh, carry bag, carry on bag, that one I've measured mine today was 13 kilograms. So in total, I'm traveling with uh, how many kilograms? 46 plus. In total, I'm traveling with 59 kilograms, almost 60. Uh, I'm saying almost 60 because I have other stuff like this one. And this one has a lot of, uh, it has a camera, it has the other batteries. It has this camera I'm holding, so in total, I must be having 60 kilograms. Uh, so that's a, a quite some weight on me. And uh, the value of my goods, the ones I'm traveling with, um, I'm traveling with a laptop, <laughs> so many phones. I'm traveling with uh, eight phones, okay, not mine. Um, the phones I'm taking back to my country. I bought for some of my family members phones. So I have eight phones with me. Those eight phones are on my back. And chargers, um, extensions, th that one is on my carrier bag. And for myself, I bought so many household stuff to use for my house. Um, blenders, microwave, I bought, uh, what else did I buy? Pressure cooker, what else? Uh, toaster, what else? Actually, the big bag I have, the all of it is uh, just my goods that I bought here in China. And those goods, if I are to estimate them, um, buying here and buy them in my country, uh, if I were to buy them in my country, I could, uh, how can I put it? Let me say, 
Uh, in China, if I compare the price, market price, because I was buying an item and comparing the current price in Kenya. So, for example, I bought a six liter pressure cooker. A six liter pressure cooker, that one uh, here in China, it was on offer. It was to, supposed to cost, it's from Midel, it was supposed to cost uh, 450 yuan. That is approximately, approximately 10,000 Kenyan shilling. But I saw the same, same item in Kenya was going for almost 18,000. So you can see the value for your money. So I end up saving a lot and a lot and a lot of money. So having been here, I thought it's wise I buy several stuff and take them to my country for my own use and for the sake of other people. So, getting to JKIA, I don't know how the scenario will be because of the new KRA laws. And at this point, I would like to read this five-page five, five document from the KRA so that you can relate to what I'm saying. And um, I saw some place that the customs and the KRA were harassing tourists or civilians who are back from abroad. They are checking for things and stuff, which is not a good picture anyway. When I arrived in China, nobody asked me to pay tax on my luggage. Nobody. I just came and checked in and I had the cargo uh, cages that were required. Nobody told me that I was to pay anything. But in my country now, I'm told that this rule has been in existence but it has not been applied. But now it seems like the KRA were short on t the target that uh, they were to collect the tax. So they came up to enforce these rules. So, once again, this one is from the Customs Handbook, Kenya Revenue Authority. Departure information. Let me read the departure information for you. In brackets, departing passengers from Kenya. Know this before you leave. Know this before you leave. The following items require a temporary importation from no okay sorry the following items require a temporary importation form from P45 items you are taking for repair or alteration toolboxes you require to repair work abroad and you intend to bring it back cameras and accessories for filming outside the country. Please retain the F-147 receipt you receive until you return. Let me check. Items you need to declare as you depart. Number one, items you purchase for business promotional and commercial purchases will be taxed on return. All electronics bought for on your trip, that is iPhones, iPads, PlayStation, laptops, computers, stereo televisions, projectors, video recorders, microwaves, and cookers will be taxed. So I have a microwave, I have a yeah, laptops, I I, have, I don't have an iPhone. It does not state other phones, but it states here iPhones will be taxed. iPhones, iPads, PlayStation, laptop computers, stereos, televisions, projectors, video recorders. Video, my camera, this camera, I bought it in China. So maybe this camera will also be taxed. The DJI Action 4. Any items bought for someone else for example, I'm buying you a gift. The people have bought items for maybe 
when I get there, I need to pay tax for those items. Items bought at duty free shop. Sorry, let me repeat that again. Items bought at duty free shops that exceed the allowable limits. Currency exceeding 10,000 US dollars or its equivalent must be declared as the customs before departure. So that's the information you need to know before you need to declare, before you depart, you need to declare that. Number two, arrival information. Passengers arriving in Kenya, that is from wherever you are, you need to declare upon arrival in Kenya, what you need to declare upon arrival in Kenya. Number one, items you purchased and are carrying with upon your return in Kenya, you need to declare everything that you have. Items you inherited while, on, while abroad, you need to declare the items you inherited. Number three, items you bought in duty-free shops on the ship or on the plane beyond the allowed limits. Maybe you went somewhere and found that there is a military barracks, you went there, you bought things at a, a duty-free uh, rate. Or you met somebody in the airplane and he had an iPhone and then you buy it. You have to declare that, how you got that and the cost. Number four, repairs or alterations to any items you took abroad and then brought back even in the repairs, even if the repairs or alterations were performed free of charge. Number five, items you, bo you brought home for someone else, including gifts. Items you brought home, including gifts, you have to declare. Number six, items you intend to sell or use in your business, including business merchandise that you took out of Kenya on your trip. Number seven, currency above 10,000 US dollars or its equivalent must be declared at the customs upon arrival. You must state on the passenger declaration form in US currency what you actually paid for each item. The price must include all taxes. If you don't know for sure estimate, if you, if you did not buy the item yourself, for example, it is a gift. Estimate its fair retail value in the country where you received it. Remember, if you used the item you bought on your trip, it's still dutiable. You must declare the item at the price you paid. Or, if it was a gift at its fair market price, you must, how do you say the term, approximate prohibited item, fake money, pornographic materials, shock indecent articles, narcotic drugs, used tires for light commercial vehicles. So restricted items, but they, I was to buy a toy gun for my nephew. I was to buy a toy gun, but uh, I bought it, it came, but it was small, so I wanted a big toy gun. I wanted to travel it, I wanted to pack it, I wanted to travel with a gun all the way from China, Kunming, Guangzhou to the international. For a gun, toy gun for children, because my, my brother's children wanted them. Restricted items, so number one, let's see. Unworked previous materials, Sorry, unworked pre precious metals and precious stones, arms and ammunition, ivory worked or unworked, spent cartridges, historical artifacts, 
those are the things the Kenyan government or the KRA, the Kenyan government through the KRA ask you not to or are restricted. Customs duty. So customs duty, customs duty is a tariff or tax imposed on goods when transported across international borders. Dutable refers to articles on which customs may have to be paid. Each article has a specific duty rate, which is determined by a number of factors, including where you acquire the article, where it was made, and what it is made of, and how much you acquired it with. The customs duty rate is a percentage. This percentage is determined by the total purchased value of the articles paid at the foreign country and uh, not based on factors such as size, quality, or weight. The harmonized tariff system, HTS, provides duty rates for virtual, virtually uh, every existing item. Duty-free shops articles sold in customs duty-free shop are free only for the countries in which the shops the shop is located. Therefore, if you have if you are if you if your acquired articles exceed your personal exemption stock allowance, the article you purchased in custom free duty, whether in Kenya or abroad, will be subject to customs duty upon entering your destination country. Exemptions. Household effects conditionally included are dutifully free. These include such as items such as carpets, paintings, tableware, linens, and similar household furnishings. Tools of trade, professional books, implements, and instruments. For customs purposes, clothing, jewelry, photography, equipment, portable radios are considered personal effects but cannot be brought in duty free as household effects. However, duty is usually waived on personal effects more than one year of age. All vehicles are dutiable. So there's a waiver for the goods that are, you have used more than one year of age. So Bexo asked the question, will my goods be taxed because I just bought them and they are in the box? So let's see how it will happen when we arrive at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. All right, so we proceed. Limits. A limit of taxable goods only applies to goods purchased by the passenger for all news or should not exceed 500 US dollars. So the goods that maybe you can cross with or not tax with are goods that do not exceed 73,000. That is 500 US dollars. And the goods I have, if I approximate them, only my phone and laptop, it's above 500 US dollars. So I'm yet to see what happens so on donations, donations into the country are taxable unless exceptions are sought and can produce a pro 1B or exception letter from the Ministry of National Treasury. Donations for medicine and medicine meds need to be cleared by the pharmacy and poisons board before entry into the country. Items that are, bought, are brought in as temporary importation for repair need to be declared in the C510 document before the goods enter the country. Goods for exhibition and return in an unaltered state need to be entered in a C500 document before the goods enter the country. This includes goods for exhibition, gowns or fashion shows, artworks, etc. Filming equipment, including this camera of mine, because I'm filming this vlog, I'm filming my travel experience, I'm filming uh, this journey. So let's see what they say about filming equipment. 
filming equipment may be allowed okay filming equipment may be allowed into the country or temporary on a temporary basis however the importer must make an application to the commissioner or permission to enter the equipment or, on temporary importation so it does not apply to me so i'll enter with this as a as just as my personal goods undertake to so filming equipment filming equipments may be allowed into the country on a temporary basis however the importer must take an act application to the commissioner for permission to enter the equipment on temporary importation and undertake the, to export the equipment within such period not exceed months from date of importation. However, this period may be extended on application to the Minister of, for Finance through the Commission. B. Non payable, an unrefundable fee of 1% of the value of the goods or cash 30,000, which, however, is lower. What else do we need to know about this? Yeah. So that's what's happening in my country, Kenya. I am talking about this because I am in a position whereby I relate with what's going to happen. I want, when I arrive, I know how they will handle me or whether or not they will agree for me to pass with the goods or the items I purchase or not. So I'm looking forward to see how KRA or how the customs in Nairobi will teach me. And uh, I was reading this article by the Kenya Times. This article by the Kenya Times. The KRA list the KRA list phones Jews among items you can't bring to Kenya for free. Allow me to read this article quick before I go check if we have to check in. Traveling abroad for Kenyans is an exciting experience with many looking forward to bringing home their souvenirs to remember their journey. Sometimes Kenyans traveling abroad to have access to cheaper items include phones or any other electronic devices. However, disappointment or shock for many comes when they are stopped at the customs check at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA, and are asked to pay for the items. Unknown to many, by the law, there is a list of items that you will be required to pay duty tax for, even if it is personal use when you are coming into the country. Additionally, Kenya Revenue Authority requires you to declare the selected items after you, your arrival into the country. KRA on items that you should declare upon arrival at the airport, according to this article. According to the authority, passengers ought to declare items they have purchased and are carrying and those they inherited while abroad upon their arrival in Kenya. At the same time, the passengers are expected to declare items bought in duty-free shops on the ship or the plane and repairs or alterations to any items taken abroad and brought back into the country. Likewise, passengers will have to declare gifts bought for their loved ones, items they intend to sell, donations and other items bought for charity. Carry also details the currency for 1.5 million Kenyan shillings or 10,000 US dollars and above or its equivalent must be declared at the customs. Excess duty is applied on the following items. According to the taxman, ex excess duty will be charged on products like alcohol, beverages and tobacco. All spirits all spirits, including liquors, exceeding one liter or wine, exceeding two liters, are items you will be required to pay excess duty for at the custom store.
Also, electronic products including phones and mobile handsets will, with accessories like headsets, speakers, ETC are subjected to excess duty. And I have <laughs> a headphones, I have I have several, I have a speaker. Okay. At the same time, cigarettes, cigars, cheroots, cigarillos, tobacco, and snuff exceeding 250 grams in weight will be subjected to the excess duty. Fruit juices, including grapes and vegetables, juices, and fermented and not containing added spirit either or not containing added sugar or other sweetening matter will be taxed at shillings, Kenya shillings 10 per litre. Prohibited and restricted goods. The authority also indicated the, that items including fake money, pornographic material, indecent materials, narcotic drugs, used tires for light commercial vehicles, shisha and shisha flavors are prohibited. Other prohibited items include skin whitening, stock lightening creams, toy guns. I was to buy a toy gun. Toy guns. I was to buy a toy gun for my nephews. Worn underwear, garments, or any other type of counterfeit goods of all kinds are also prohibited. All goods, the importation of which is for the time being prohibited under this act or by any written law for the time being enforced in the East African Community Partner Stake, care stated on their website. At the same time, the taxman indicated the goods, including unworked precious metals and precious stones, arms and ammunition, ivory, worked or unworked, spent cartridges, historical artifacts and drones are restricted. It means next time when I'm buying a drone, it won't access the country. So, that is the current state of the customs in my country, the current state of the KRA in my country. And I'm yet to get to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and see how the KRA or the customs will handle me. Because I've got quite some goods I'm moving from China to Kenya. I bought a whole bag, I bought so many phones, and other stuff so let's see how it will be so don't leave this video until you see my arrival at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport right about now I'm at the Bayun International Airport in Guangzhou I just landed from Kunming City th three hours ago and uh, it's 6.15. My next flight is at 8.50. So I want to go and check what's happening. I want to go and check if, uh, oh, sorry, whether we've been cleared because where we are, no hotel, no nothing. So we, we are somewhere very dark, as you can see. <laughs> My friends are down, down, down. I have to go there and go to the other side. This elevator senses you. So, before I go down there, let me wind up and then we'll meet after the break. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for following this journey. Thank you for joining with me. This is Anoto in China, the name of my YouTube channel, brought to you by yours truly, Brad Anoto. And welcome on board, welcome on my journey experiences. Make sure you subscribe, follow and hit that notification bell so that anytime I post content on the channel, you will be able to see it, you will be able to appreciate it. I normally post weekly content, sometimes three uh, posts per week, sometimes five posts per week, sometimes seven posts per week, depending on the availability and the, when I get time. I'm doing this for you guys, and also I'm documenting my life experiences in China. Don't switch that dial. This is an auto in China. See you at the end of this break all the way from Guangzhou to your screens, ladies and gentlemen. This is an auto in China goes on a short commercial break. See you at the end.